In this video, let's try to understand what it means by a tuple is immutable. Let's say we have a tuple C as follows. Remember, a tuple is a sequence and can hold various types of Python objects. For example, a tuple can hold strings, special characters, or even other sequence types like lists or even other tuples, dictionaries, and various other items. Let's say we have a tuple here. The first element is a string Python. A second element is a list. And a third element is a number. Now, when we say a tuple is immutable, what it means is you cannot change the elements of a tuple. For example, let's say we want to change the element in uh, the index position 0. So in order to access that, we would typically try C and use a square back as 0 and then we can assign a new element. Let's say we want to replace Python with Java. This would create an error. It's basically a type error and this says a tuple does not support the assignment operator. This is because it's immutable and it cannot be changed. However, if you look at the element in index position 1, it is a list. A list is mutable and I'll be talking about this in some of my future videos. Now, since a list is mutable, we can access this list within the tuple and make changes to the list. Now, let's say we want to add another element to the list in index position 1. The way we can do that is by accessing uh, the tuple first by uh, using uh, cf1 and we're using one here because the list is at index position one and now we have access to the list and now let's say we want to add another number to it the way we do that is by using the append function and let's say we want to add the number 10 and now uh, let's print out uh, the tuple again. So now you can see that the list within the tuple at index position 1 was appended with another list element number 10. So this is what it means uh, that a list is mutable and a tuple is immutable.